Hello makers, today I'm going to show you how to make a 3D printed business card using two colors of filament in a single print. This is just two grams of material, so it's a great way to use the last bit of filament that you hate to throw away. These are sure to leave an impression with everyone you give them to. They are the same thickness as business cards, and they're more durable. And I add a special twist to mine that says, I know technology. The people you give these to will want to show it to everyone they meet. Makers new to 3D printing can easily do this project, so let's do it. I use Fusion 360, but the design is so simple that many other design programs should work just fine. We know that our card should be about 0.4 millimeters to stay as thin as a standard paper card. For good solid color and to prevent fraying, we'll need each color to have two layers. Slicers will change the direction the filament is applied, adding strength through that physical property of the card. I'll be using Prusa Slicer for this project, and it defaults to printing the first layer at 0.2 millimeters. This leaves uh, room for a 0.07 second layer and two more 0.07 millimeter layers, bringing us to 0.41 millimeters. Here we are in Fusion 360. I like to create a component for my parts first, uh, and then we'll create a sketch in there, and switching to front facing. Now how big should our business cards be? There seems to be a little bit of variation, but as long as you stick to about 89 millimeters by 50 millimeters, which is three and a half inches by two inches, your card will fit along with other business cards just fine. So let's make a rectangle now, hitting R. And there we go. And then I'm gonna type in the exact dimensions. So I'm gonna go with the 50 by 89. And now let's do something that you just don't see in business cards to let it stand out a little bit more. Up, we'll do that. Putting a fillet on the three corners. All right, so now let's select the text tool. We'll put it here, and we'll start telling it what we want it to say. Now, as of August 2020, uh, Fusion 360 does not support a multi-line text tool, and that's fine. We will just do this with multiple text objects. And let's make this 15 remembering that we only have 50 millimeters to work with here. We'll do that, hit OK, and now I'm gonna explode this. We need to explode the text for this particular font to help define the edges, and this is useful for when we uh, extrude later. And now let's add something interesting to the sides. So let's take, say, a circle, do something like that and let's do a wavy line. And something like something like that. And we do have one other little part. This is my special twist. We'll put another rectangle right here and this needs to be Five and a 20, 12 and a half by eight and a half. Isn't that where we want it? Yeah, that'll be good. All right, and let's finish the sketch. All right, so that'll be our business card. Now let's just do extrude. That, we got everything selected, and we're going to come up uh, 0.27 millimeters. All right. All right. Now we're going to extrude again. Let's show that. Extrude again. This time we are going to bring up just the main body and the inside of our fonts. And this is gonna give us that two color look, um, that, that contrast between the two colors to show our letters. And now I need to make sure that our body is showing again. We'll make sure that we are in join. And this one is going to be the full height of our card. 
at 0.41 millimeters. Okay, we are going to select our body and save it, and then we'll get it open in our STL slicer. Okay, so we're in Prusa Slicer now. Uh, I'm gonna go with a 0.07 millimeter height. It's pretty high resolution, uh, but we need that so our business card stays thin. Uh, I'll just be printing with uh, cheap Amazon Basics PLA. And now we're going to go to Preview and use a feature of Prusa Slicer where you can insert a filament or color change code, which is M600 right here. So once the slicer gets to this Z height, it will trigger a filter change process. I would note that you probably want to stick with the same PLA filament or the same PETG if you decide to print with PETG uh, so that you don't have problems with jamming with different temperature requirements. And with that we have sliced. As you can see, we have only just over two grams of filament that are going to be used by this print, so it's perfect for using the last of the filament that you just hate to throw away. All right, so I'm gonna export this and get it printed. And here is that card. Look at that, look at how thin that is. And the thing that I think is gonna really have people talking and sharing your card is this near field communication passive device and it lights up when it comes into contact with an NFC field, which most of our phones have. Look at that. So this is generating the pulse that uh, moves electrons over here. So no battery is needed on the device on my card here. And as you can see, super thin, okay? Super awesome. This is the thing that's gonna get people to wanna share your card with other people when you hand these out. These cards have the huge advantage of making a big impression and being shown to many more people instead of just being tucked away in a wallet and forgotten. That's it for this video. Please subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what else you would do with your last two grams of filament and which colors you'd use. Thanks for watching.